Hey everybody, Corey Wells with Scorpion Protective Coatings here. I want to talk to you a little bit today about textures and how to achieve those textures with our regular Owls spray gun. Okay, There's a lot of guys that call us and say, hey, how do I get that tight texture that you get in a high pressure spray in bed liner? Or how do I get a more smooth texture similar to like a paint application? Uh, you can actually achieve both of them. The paint is a little bit more difficult to achieve. With some practice, you can get that uh, texture the right way though. A uh, couple things to consider when you're talking about textures. Uh, one is gonna be the distance that you're spraying uh, the, the vehicle or the project at. Um, that is one of the big factors in determining what kind of texture you're gonna have for the overall project. Uh, another is gonna be the PSI that you spray it out at. Higher PSI, more atomization of the product is gonna create smaller particles. That'll allow you to get that more high pressure textured look, okay? Uh, the third thing would be the trigger pull. And we're gonna go over that a little bit as well today. Uh, most of the customers that I talk to, uh, they call in and say, hey, Corey, how do I do this or how do I do that? Those three things, trigger pull, PSI, and the distance that you're spraying are gonna determine the majority of the texture that you get in your application. So let's start out with the trigger pull. When someone calls me, I always tell them to take your trigger locking mechanism in the very back of this house gun and run it all the way down to where you cannot pull the trigger back at all. There is no give in that trigger, okay? I like to start out with anywhere between one full turn to one and a half turns. Now you'll notice there's still not a whole lot of pull on that trigger. We're about a quarter trigger pull. That is more than enough to spray out a nice base layer of bed liner material. And then again, when we come back with our texture pass, we'll adjust this just slightly, okay? So as far as trigger pull is concerned, about one and a half uh, turns, maybe one is gonna be what you find best for you. And you'll notice again, trigger pull, there's not a whole lot there, okay? So that's gonna be one way we're gonna affect the texture. The second is, um, I always have a regulator on the end of the gun that I attach my air hose to. It prevents me from having to go back to the air compressor and adjust for varying textures based on the project that I'm spraying. So I would recommend having a air regulator right here on the tip of the gun. That way we can dial it up or dial it down, depending on what we're doing, right away, okay? And then the last thing is gonna be that distance. Most of your base layer is gonna be sprayed somewhere between 12 to 24 inches just to get a nice even coverage over the entire project. Again, this could be a truck bed liner, this could be a boat deck, this could be a toolbox, it does not matter, okay? We wanna be consistent, that's why we have the trigger lock, okay? After we're done spraying our base layer, I like to do another thing. I'll actually turn that knob back in a half turn to three quarters of a turn. Okay, what that's going to allow is less material to come out and then I'll increase my PSI's to a higher rating, okay? Those two things combined will create that smaller texture, okay? Now remember we mentioned 18 to 24 inches for a base layer. We're actually gonna be looking at somewhere between three up to seven feet of distance for the texture pass. Most of this is achieved in a standard truck bed application by being on the opposite side of the truck, spraying the far side wall. You go to the other side wall, repeat that process, and then from the back of the vehicle, hitting the cap headboard. So all this is pretty standard, but if you have more questions, I'll, by all means, you can give us a call, okay? So just to recap, trigger locking mechanism, we're gonna open it up one and a half turns approximately for our base layer, sprayed about 40, 45 PSIs, maybe even 30 to 35, depending on your preference and how quickly you're moving with the gun. But to get that tight texture, okay? We're then going to decrease the trigger pull, increase our PSIs, and I would recommend anything over 65. 65, 75, 85, again, your preference. That's how you're gonna get that tight texture and that added distance, that three, four, five feet, six, even up to seven feet away. So if you have more questions about this, by all means, give us a call. You can reach out at 1-800. 483-9087, that's our toll-free number. You can visit us on the website at www.scorpioncoatings.com or you can uh, give us a call direct uh, and talk to either uh, myself, Sonny, uh, or Kelly Lewis. They are our main uh, bedliner guys. But remember, always, Scorpion, protect what's yours.